So have you seen posts on Instagram that look like this or like this to where they are very much shareable, they are something that does stand out and it's not your regular photo shoot, picture perfect kind of photo. So in this video, we are going to talk exactly about that, how to create quote unquote quote cards on Instagram. So they are highly shareable, they are highly lovable by people and they do provide a ton of value actually a lot more than just a regular picture perfect kind of photo. So let's get right into this. So first of all, let's talk about why having a picture perfect photo shoot is not a really good idea right now. So first of all, yes, we have been on a lockdown in 2020, so I don't feel like anybody has been getting a whole lot of pictures done unless you do have camera and you have somebody to help you with. I personally have not been getting a whole lot of pictures done myself, but let's first of all define why that's not really the most important thing. So although yes, the pictures do get higher engagement, you do get more visibility, you do get more likes, sometimes you do get more comments, but if you think about it, those comments are not really the most valuable ones because they just give you a bunch of compliments, they say how good you look like, and every now and then, yeah, they're good to have, especially if you are going to have a good caption, but not always. So the only way that I'm using those photos or photo shoots of myself as a picture only inside of a carousel post, which looks like this, and then when you scroll, then you're going to see the rest of the images in that carousel post. So the first one grabs the attention, the other one actually holds people to keep scrolling to see what I have to say. And that way you can actually get away with a short caption just because your carousel already covers so much value. Now that we have identified that those photos of yourself are not really shareable, nobody's really going to go ahead and post your picture on their story, but people are going to share a quote, people are going to share an infographic, people are going to share some sort of pie chart or some sort of statistic or a screenshot or a quote or something like that, right? Which I already had mentioned a quote. You can also share interesting statistics or mic drop kind of posts where you share something that's a common, you know, maybe a common problem in your industry or a common mistake in your field and everybody's talking about it. So here's an example of a post I did with Patrick where I basically showcased that, hey, like it's very easy to do the work for your client and a lot of the times it's very hard to do the work for yourself. Like, and I shared this in groups and people loved it and a lot of people did relate to that. So this was a common problem, it still is, and I just portrayed it in a way that's not my picture, although you can get away with your pictures as well, but this was just so perfect, and I always remember this Spongebob episode with Patrick just on the wood on his head, so that was something I wanted to share with my audience. So now let me share with you three strategies how you can create amazing Instagram posts that are shareable before we dive into the screen share, and I'm actually going to show you what I do inside of Canva to make those happen. So the first strategy that you can do, which is honestly the easiest, it doesn't even require a whole lot of design, is you can go ahead and post something on Twitter and screenshot it and it's going to have your face, it's going to have your handle, which if you have the same handle on Twitter and the same handle on Instagram, that is going to help a lot. I personally don't, so I don't always use that strategy. But if you want to bring more awareness to your Twitter account through Instagram, then you can also do that. So and I'll show you how you can do that from your computer. You can also take those screenshots from your phone just because the photo is going to be white instead of dark like it is currently on my Twitter account, which I'm about to show you. Strategy number two is you can make everything in Canva. So I'm gonna dive into the tutorial here in a second so you can see how that's getting done. If you need some design help, which by the way, if you do, check out this video right here where I share with you 17 different tips and tricks for Canva design so you can get better at designing things using Canva. And the third strategy, if you absolutely do not like design, if you just feel like, Jay, I just can't follow it, I can only maybe create those Twitter images, then I'll share with you a resource at the very end of this video, so be sure to stick around for that. Now let's get into my screen so I can actually show you how to get it done using Canva. All right, so I am in my Canva account, so let me first show you the Twitter post example that you can use. 
So this is an example of a post that I currently have, which I posted a couple of days ago. So what I can do is I can go ahead and screenshot that post, which that's going to be a dark one. So I can just go ahead and screenshot this area and then I can paste it inside of Canva. So let's go ahead and try to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and upload it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my computer. So let it load. So I would recommend making that image white, just my personal opinion, uh, but you can play around with it and see what works best for your audience. I would personally just prefer to have black text on a white background instead of what we have right now. But that's still usable because uh, let me show you how you can basically do the same kind of background. So let's go ahead and choose the background. And now if I want to have the same background as this image, what I have to do is I have a little extension in my Chrome uh, called the color picker. So all I have to do is pick color from the web page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on this background and go back to the extension. And then right here, I've got that color code. Now I do have my background color selection right here. So what I'm going to do is I choose new color and I just paste and there we go. So we've got that post and it's pretty much ready to go. Now, let me show you another kind of design that you can do. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and choose this picture right here. And if you want to make it to where it's going to stand out just a little bit, you can um, use a photo behind this. So again, it may look better with it actually being white instead of dark, but we're going to roll with this. So let me go ahead and do a search. Let's say I want to do a search for a computer and I may want to do something like, let's see what we can use, computer. I'm going to go ahead and search for a flat lay and see how this is going to look like. So it looks like a desk. Now let's choose this one looks actually pretty cute. So let me go ahead and make this our background. And there we go. If you want to make it a little bit transparent, just to showcase the background a little bit more, you can do something like that. And um, there we go. Now, so that's the Twitter example. Now, another kind of example that we can do is a regular quote. Again, I can go ahead and change the background. I can use something like this and I can just go ahead and set it as an image background. I can double click on it and move it around a little bit. And then all it really takes is you're just going to have to figure out, okay, so what kind of elements do I want to have in here? So let's say I'm going to go ahead and select the square. And we can do something, uh, let's see, we can do something like this. Let me show you how to do one of those reminder kind of kind of things, like a reminder that you get on your phone. So, and you can just drag it around a little bit, place it in the center. So it looks like this. We can actually lock all of these things. And now we can go ahead and choose a line because generally there is a line on <laughs> these kind of things, right? So we can just make it a tad bit smaller and I'm going to go ahead and copy it and paste it to use it as a second one. So let's say we are going to do something like this and see if that clicks. Now I'm going to go ahead and make it gray. So let's search for a gray color and make it like this. And then this one, I'm also going to go ahead and change it and flip it to we need 90 degrees and now I'm going to make it a tad bit smaller and place it right in the center. Right. So obviously I do want to blow it up a little bit to fix that up. So this line does seem to be pretty okay. So we're going to lock that. And now this one, we need to move it just a tad bit and now we can lock that. Right. So that kind of already looks like a reminder. Now, then you have to just add the text and I'm going to keep it big just so that you can see everything way better. Now you can say something like yes. And we're going to change it up. So again, you can change the font if you want to. I'm just going to keep it like this for the design of the for the for this particular tutorial. And you can say let's do something cheesy like that. And you can go ahead and change. Let's go ahead and change this into a different font. So we're going to go with a light one and then this one also going to be light. And then I'm going to copy it and paste it again. Um, are you ready to chase your dreams today? 
So let's do something like this and then you can blow it up and then move it over to the center and again change the font if you wish. So let's make it bold and we can make it a tad bit smaller and blow it up a little bit if you want to. So and then just center it and let's see how that's going to look like. So that looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't really look like a real one, but because the text, <laughs> the font is not the same, but that will definitely, that's definitely going to do. Now, another thing you want to make sure that you do inside of Canva, and let me see if I can actually go ahead and do that. I just have to move my face a little bit. So I do have a logo. So every single time I create something, I want to make sure that people are not just going to swipe this content, which people are still going to do that anyways, but I just want to protect myself as much as I can. So I always put my whoops, I always put my logo at least in one or sometimes even in two places. So I would go ahead and put it here. Again, I made this in Canva. So something like this. And then I can also place it in maybe like on a computer or somewhere else. So that's uh, another option. So the sky is the limit. You can do all kinds of different things in Canva. So let's go ahead and show you. Let me show you how you can do some kind of pie chart. So let's say if you want to do, whoops, if you want to do something like this, right? So and you want to showcase five different items. So you can actually put all the items here. So let's say hard work. Let's say item two is going to be, uh, for example, networking. Then another one is going to be content creation. And then you can just move things around if you wish. Um, and then, because I mean, it doesn't really fit right now. Then another one can be um, video marketing. And then another one can be sales. Now, let's make it a little bit smaller just so that it actually fits. And it does look pretty good. I'm not even going to lie. So you may just want to move things around if you wish. So that is how it's going to look like. Now, you can change the colors and everything regarding that. So um, you just change to whatever you want, and then it's going to change it by itself, which is pretty neat. Now, so that is how you do a pie chart. And there's all kinds of different charts that you can make. If you don't like that one, you can customize this, or you have you know, something like this that you can make. So the sky is the limit here. So that's how you do this in Canva. Now, if you, let me show you my secret weapon, if you, absolutely do not like the design and you're just like, I really wish there were templates. Well, I mean, I do offer templates inside of my course for uh, for Instagram, inside of my content empire program. So if you're not a part of it, then you can check out the details in the description and see how you can enroll. And I do like creative markets. So what you can do here, if you absolutely have no idea what to do, then you can just type in Instagram, and there is puzzle, template, stories, Canva. So I would just type in Instagram Canva and you are going to have a couple of different options that you can choose from. And it's going to make your life so much easier. In fact, I bought some templates myself as well that does speed up my overall content creation and gives me ideas. So templates is always a good idea. And there's thousands of them. I mean, over 3000 results. So there's a whole bundle that you can buy. This one actually looks pretty cool. Instagram for thought leaders, 5,600 quotes, stylish, you know, Instagram post templates right here. So I would highly recommend using that. So did you enjoy this video where I show you three different ways how you can create designs uh, like quote cards for Instagram. So you can finally have that shareable content and you can finally generate more traffic to your account and to your offer. So I really hope this was insightful for you. I really hope you're going to implement that. So let me know down below into the comments if you will. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these kinds of tutorials and this kind of content all about social media, coaching, entrepreneurship. I really hope you do hit that bell sign down below as well so you get notified every single time a new video goes live. I promise that you're not going to be bombarded. So it's only going to be a couple of videos per week, actually usually two. So that's all the notifications you're going to be getting. So I hope you enjoy this video. Check out these two video trainings that I did over here. And I appreciate you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.